हेलो एवरीवन हाय 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 एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ गोन ट्यून्स विद अ ट्रिपल um this is a very special broadcast that we are doing today a uh, especially we got a very special guest coming with us jo i'm a bit nervous on this one to be honest with you so uh, <laughs> this 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 will help probably okay um, yeah yeah cheers cheers to that cheers to that uh, we we got uh, uh, jo will tell you more actually because jo you have met him before in person so i'll let you talk about how you guys met and and stuff like that right so yeah uh again welcome to you all and um uh, good evening good afternoon wherever you are um hope you all keeping well so today's guest we have uh the one and only milroy coys uh who is a film director is very passionate about what he does and i had an opportunity to meet him once uh when we were shooting uh kabir's and uh amit's song the waking run song which was wifi connection the whole day we spent together we had a nice chat and you know but before that we had a couple of uh, conversations on phone and chat and then uh, it was uh, last year when we finally met together and you know personally and we had a nice chat and uh, so yeah milroy boys uh, he's done a couple of short films and he's done a lovely film which is uh, in 2018 i think it's uh, welcome millions and we are going to talk about it and ask about him uh, get to know about him and his passion and how he got there so yeah let's let's begin so just as just as mira miroy gets ready and come on screen let's do this oh yes Oh. There you are. Hello there. <laughs> hey, hi. hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the show. So, due to lockdown, I miss. I so miss this thing, you know, doing this. this. <laughs> <laughs> we could have done it at the beginning. <laughs> I was, I was actually looking for the right picture if I could find one of yours with that to put up as well. <laughs> Warm welcome to you, uh, Milroy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying yes and uh you know being there with us uh uh even though you're busy and thanks for your precious time. So let's begin. Um so Shilton uh is Shilton is uh my friend and uh you know the whole Hello Shilton. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> the whole idea about this thing was uh so that we can uh, you know showcase and you know have a casual chat with our goan talents who are in music industry and in videos and you know in the film industry and other talents who you know who who are inspiring to the young generation and who can learn and you know you know pick up a few things tips and that's really helpful so without of this idea a year back uh, when children and uh, i met together for a drink and then he said we should do something like you know singing jam ups or something like that and talk a bit more about your interest and how you got there what you're doing a bit of story um so this lockdown helped us to come online even though you know uh, we are busy and uh, you know with other stuff so uh, yeah uh, maybe children can continue now Yeah Milroy it's 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 yours it's uh, the whole stage is yours i will say i mean you're the, you're the man behind the camera about all the lovely work that we see on screen and we enjoy sitting back it could be a music video or a movie so then there is a name Milroy Goyes who is Milroy Goyes <laughs> tell me about yourself now <laughs> well uh first to thank you so much uh, Shirdan and JSF i mean it's uh, i met JSF uh, like like he said when he was in Goa yeah that was nice and uh, finally this lockdown bring us together on screen <laughs> that's how we can do you know yeah. so yeah uh, i i am from goa i live in goa uh, very much uh, it's how far goa in fact kabir morais is my neighbor <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the town called kunkolem and uh, 
it's a long journey that made me through the film industry and to made me where I am today. And of course, uh, it's 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 never ending learning. You know, I <clears throat> I learn a lot of things every day. And uh, yeah, since since we are in a lockdown, I am missing so much about my film work. Now, of course, I do a lot of editing. I have some projects coming in, you know, which I do editing, but on field work uh, on hold for now, which, which is actually good. I get a good relaxing time and think of a better story that I can work on because I love writing scripts. And uh, there are many things, uh, you know, this lockdown taught us <laughs> basically <laughs> cooking. Yeah, I think it's, it's something I enjoy now. I, I, I like to do as well the baking part of it, you know. So, for breakfast, we, we bake our own palm and all it is superb. <laughs> I've seen your pictures, so, they are really nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so ample of time, I can just make my own schedule, my, my own time time slots where I can do what, you know. I'm also learning uh, music, I'm just playing the piano and uh, <laughs> I mean, music has always been close to me because I'm also into, uh, you know, many things I'm close into, which I can explore now, you know. So people back before I got into film line, I was already known for many other things. Like uh, in my school days, I was known for my drawings as an artist oh, wow. because I always, I, I'm skilled in art. Uh, so uh, mostly I do sketches, by portraits and all. So that is something I used to do. And in the school days, I used to always contest for a school events, winning first places. And I have a good friend, Samuel. And Samuel continued doing this art, and he's uh, he's also an artist. But I gradually moved into digital art, and that took me in. That made me a graphic artist, graphic designer, and also web designer. So I was I got into web development and. Uh, the designing, so you know, it it was pretty. Uh, what is a longer, uh, you know, road in the line of art, you know. So I had a long interest in learning music, but finally, just getting into it now. This is the right and, time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and uh, then slowly I got into film industry with my short films. And Kabir was a guy who came forward to join me in this uh, film career. You won't know him that, uh, what he used to do before. You know him now as a musician, but back then he was a DOP, cinematographer. Oh. He's, to, he's the guy with the camera for me back then. We did a couple of music videos. We did a short film. My first short film was done by him, cool. which got recognition at the international film festivals. And therefore I got picked by uh, a French uh, mentor, and then he mentored me in, in a proper line of channel where I can take my work internationally. And today I am very glad because these are the people, Kabir, Anthony Combs, these are the people who actually recognized the talent back then, you know, when this was not, not at all so as a profession. I never knew this could be a profession, you know. <laughs> but basically, I believe, uh, see, you guys are talented. The GSF is a one good example, you know. So a talent is a gold mine, you know. A talent can, uh, I mean, that's uh, it's never going to rust. We can always, even if we are locked down, a yeah. talent going to improve our skills. And you know, when when things when the world opens up, we are the guys who are going to be out with a lot of knowledge, you know. Because I see talented people always put their time in learning, than yeah. just you know whining about oh this is gone, this that is gone, you know. I do not like to complain about things which are gone. I like to focus on what things I can achieve, you know. <laughs> that's 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 the important thing. I yeah, that, that, that's me. That's me. I like to be very positive as much as, as I can because I I learned it from several people that I came across in my life. You know, it's very long journey from uh, I can say some from, from schools to this uh, designing to the filmmaking and you know, yeah. making so, videos for people. Yeah. So pretty much, basically, you have all the basic, the you know, the the 
bottom line uh, what is important to be a film person or to be an editor to be a, you know you have done various roles uh, which is like camera handling and everything whatever is needed basically in the film industry so it's it's very it's very good to have that in depth knowledge you know uh, i have it sorry sorry to interrupt Just as you were talking about your school days, Maverick was the guy who was commenting as well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's go together. Oh, yeah, really? That's nice to know. I mean, yeah, it's a <laughs> pretty long memory. <laughs> nice, nice, nice to know. Nice to know, Milroy. Right. So how, uh, like what, um, or when When did you come to know that you can, you can uh, get into film and uh, you can be, uh, you know, in this profession what you're in? when was the okay. actual pretty good good question uh but i guess that was in 2007 in the year 2007 yeah. um i always uh, before that as well i was always keen on films you know i still always watch my friends used to supply you know they used to buy dvds for me like my, my friend uh, ashley used to work on the ship and uh, his his major interest was collecting movies you know a uh, right. movies that don't release in india a lot of hollywood movies a lot of independent movies which he would buy for me and on his trip back to in india i would bring them you know so there was always a, a additional cd which will have or cd or dvd which will have this behind the scenes you know the making of the movie yeah, right. i would watch yeah. that yeah so i had that keen interest in watching that and then was the film Yeah. So that would give me an idea like oh this will made it that way you know that was my thing. that time there was no youtube to learn now you can learn so many things on youtube you know it's very really easy now exactly yeah. so my plan is to bring you uh, uh you know movies and uh, i could just watch them and learn so many things from there i would keep a note and i have watched movies which were never released in india i i i think they are releasing now on netflix Uh, some of the old films which are releasing now on Netflix, some of the old films which are released on Amazon, and Netflix and Amazon Prime are bringing this, you know, movies together now, which weren't possible back then in Indian cinema. You know, there's a lot of time to think going on, and most of filmmakers avoid getting films made there. And yeah, so somewhere in the year 2007, I thought, of, you know, trying this out, you know, with a short film. but there was no sort of an opportunity that i can hit it you know but there was an ad on a on a, on a news uh, you know there was uh, what do you call it a uh, uh, a channel for sony pix i think it is still there yeah yeah there was an ad for a short film and i thought i would give it a try you know uh, participating in the short film so i wrote a script and i have my brother who acted in that and his friends because my brothers my brother was into taekwondo so he had his friends who were really was into taekwondo and then i was looking for a guy who could just film this for me who has a camera so uh, somehow someone told me hey there's a guy kabir who plays in an, an extra or something is meet him and check so i have to go to his place as a kabir i have a shot from i don't know no kabir back then it was the first time i'm meeting him and then he brings his camera and he just showed some stunts of his you know i can do this shot that shot i was like wow that's interesting he told the story he said let's go it he was like let's do it you know <laughs> okay. and then we did it and it was uh, quite a learning experience because we were all new and there was a time when i learned editing by editing movies you know i was to take movies and re-edit them that is the way i learned everything i also took some music videos and re-edited them into something i know some crazy thing i used to do that in court so kabir uh, i mean we were all learning and i was say we did not know how to give a command action or what you know so they were not followed this command like how we do now roll camera then camera man say rolling and then we say cue to the actors ready and action that was not that you would just say Everybody are ready. Let's go. <laughs> and then uh, there was a mistake we did. Kabir would roll the camera, okay? Because this is the switch switching on the camera is rolling. And then I say, Kabir, let's take a shot. And he switched off. 
because he will not know it's rolling or not. And most of the shots were taken. What we missed the shots, okay? And he just most of the shots were like camera was on all the time. Then he thought it was off. <laughs> and he switched on the camera here when he when recording basically he was basically saying record to switch off basically and he will place record off to switch recording. So <laughs> on how we did the editing of the film and it, I managed to convey the message you know somehow in the short film in spite of those shots you know those those cut shots actually and it worked the film really worked it it got. He got through, and uh, and I got some name from the recognition, and it, <laughs> but nobody knew that those shots were not actual shots. You know, those were the cut shots. <laughs> when I say cut, all the time computer is to roll. <laughs> but yeah, uh, quite as I said, like I said, uh, I never stop learning. We learn from that mistakes, and then we gradually started learning, realizing, oh yes, when we're filming, we we actual computer will roll now, and he will say rolling. You know. We will gradually start learning, and now it is like uh, now it is uh, you know part of the profession command. We always follow that, and yeah, that's that's how it made me into this uh, film career because I I never gave up in learning. You know, there was a mistake, there were critics, people who were really uh, you know uh, that film was uh, I mean, it's okay, it's not up to the mark what I do right now. But there were a lot of critics. There were a lot of uh, uh, you know people were not really supporting the idea of getting a film. They still say uh, there's no career scope. But then you know, like I said, when you're keen in something, you are making a career. You are making a scope for that. You know, and and that's what we are. That's because we are so independent because we made this thing happen. You know, like uh, yeah. you know, you can. You know, I've met a lot of, you know, I've come across to a lot of talented uh, people, mostly on the music or films or whatever. So when I focus on something that is the creative work, you did not need a scope around it. You know, you can create that. You can create the career, make yourself known, meet people who are already uh, in that line. So the so film festival is to help me a lot in meeting those people. You know, like changing the ideas. And that's where I think uh, I was mentored by a French uh, French couple. So this this uh, Anthony and Christine Humphreys, they are actually from France, yep. living in London. So it was it was was first step of my career to find a mentor and you know and really boost me into doing a next film, getting close to Bollywood. Connecting with the Bollywood, and uh, no reason that I came so far is not because none. I mean, it wouldn't happen without them, without Kabir, without this grassroots people who really even supported back then. You know? I can name many people who told me not to do it, but that's no important right now. You know, was important people who told me who believed in me, and right? who still believe. You know? Yes, and I believe they are still with you today, like you know, oh, like yes. supporters and. Yes. There's a lot that we came to yeah. know about Kabir today, so I'm I, I'm I'm really hoping he's watching all this. <laughs> I'm gonna put him yeah, up again and, and have a chat on this again <laughs> at some point. Yeah, it was very this, hard way of learning, isn't it? Like unlike uh, this yeah. uh, a period in time where you know you can find every material and what you're looking for on YouTube and you can uh, learn from there. But yeah, through experiments and you know through accidents, you you've learned and. Yeah, it's it's the hard way you've learned. But really, really glad you're here today on this, uh, you know, at this position and at this level where uh, we feel proud that our Goan brother <laughs> is a film director and you've been on the international yeah. level. Um, and uh, I've I've definitely watched that movie and it's really uh, brilliant. It's it's good yeah. good movie. So I think we'll we'll talk. About the movie in detail. We'll but, talk uh, about the movie as, as we just move on to the next one, uh, Milroy. There are a few guys, your your good friends from school. I don't know if you remember them. They, they, there's a lot of going on in the chats at the moment. So I'm going to pull in and see if you can want to say hi yeah. to them and be a part of the oh, conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to. Oh, Ravi, the come. I know Ravi. <laughs> it looks totally different now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I know all school friends. 
there is always there's just someone saying there's milroy always absent as well most of the time so i have no idea yeah. what <laughs> So oh, there's, there's a bit of story behind this. Like ask all this one. He remember that. See, uh, so in my in my tenth standard, see, I was to always you know uh, participate in this uh, drawing contest and all the thing. So there was a time uh, I passed on all my schoolings to I reached promoted to tenth. So there was a time of preliminary exams, and I was not prepared. And I still always participate in this contest here and there and. A lot of school activities, so <laughs> I skipped school. You know, scared of answering the exam, and then ultimately made me skip the finals also. So I skipped the final exam, and yeah, these guys remember me because of that. <laughs> because they did not believe that I I was school dropout basically. Okay, so I didn't ever continue after that, and after that I started learning on my own. Because I always believe that I can be someone that I believe in. Because the school teachers always to say, those who fail will become uh, bus conductors, you know. And yeah. I had that ego. Because in our family, we have lawyers. My brother is a lawyer. My sister is a lawyer. We have, uh, you know, all professions sort of in the family. So it was a big thing about ego. Alaska is another example. Even he made a big name back in the UK. So, see, so we are. Uh, all of my schoolmates are connecting back because they were not sure is there the same guy Milroy who was with us in the school who would be absent. <laughs> you know. So yeah. It also says that you were one of the favorites as well in the school. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they still always call me Trisa's pet because even the headmistress is to be a very good friend of mine. So all the school students, my classmates, always feel like I'm getting too much of attention from these teachers and headmistress. You know, <laughs> yeah, good old days. Nice, nice. Getting back to this about uh, 2008, Milroy, and when you got your when your film was first in the, the film festival, how does that feel? How did that feel? Do you remember that feeling when you just realize like, wow, I'm I'm yeah, I'm getting there, kind of a thing. I mean, coming from what you just told us, and you end up. Over there, I'm like, wow. Do you remember that feeling? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I very much remember. In fact, Kabir was very happy. He was with me. He, uh, we became very best friends after that. Kabir and I, and we're still good friends. We're still the same. Same buddies, you know. But right now, due to lockdown, we cannot hang out as, as we used to do, you know, barbecue parties or beer parties, you know. <laughs> it's all yeah. on a hold. <laughs> but yeah, I remember that was. There was a, a new world opening, you know, because those festivals are something that I learned. That way, change my ideas with another filmmaker, and the other filmmaker could exchange the ideas to me, or I would watch their films, a director's film, and I would meet the director and say, "Wow, that's a good film." And why did you? How did you shoot that? Why did you do that? And how come you wrote that particular subject? You know those. Like I just say, I used to watch behind the scenes back then on a DVD. In film festival, I could actually have the interaction about behind the scenes of that particular film, what I just watched. And uh, getting my film to the festival was also another advantage because those who watch my film would come back to me and ask me the same question, you know, how I did that shot, you know. Yeah. And yeah. it was really good because. Uh, I felt like I achieved something at the very moment because winning was nothing but then having meeting with these people from the group of uh, people who will be motivating me further in my career. And I can say, I don't remember them by the names, but then these are the people who motivated me saying, yes, next time you can bring your film here, next time you can make it this way, this big, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> No, it's it's amazing. I mean, 2008, you, you, you're going there for the first time. Uh, and then today you come out, uh, the, the the latest one, which is, uh, I just watched it as well, Welcome Millions. And it's it's an amazing film, something which you know, we always get those texts. And, you know, it, it, it's related. It's related. So tell us about yeah. this. 
uh, where where the inspiration and where what what give you about uh, welcome millions welcome millions actually based on true story uh yeah. though we had not uh, mentioned about much about this in the beginning of the film but it is a actually true story all of the characters we have changed it happened with me basically uh there was a guy who i was looking for a producer i had a horror script and somewhere in 2014 13 14 you know those those year or 15 something i think 14 15 yeah one of those years so i post on a lot of social media that i'm looking for a producer i saw one ad on uh, you know those those uh, website which allows you to post an ad there's some indian website i don't want to name it but you can create your own ad and post it there you can you know sell anything right. online So okay. there was a man saying we are looking for you know funding in the film. So I wrote to them. And they said I will get a call for the next day. And this guy speaks to me in Konkani and speaks to me about for an hour and kept telling me about my neighborhood, which I felt like oh why is he talking about my neighborhood? My neighboring place is called Dandewada. Okay. Yeah. Then he coming to the point saying I want to produce a film. I'll put in five lakhs. Sorry, five crores. Five 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 million basically. You know. You know. and it's not okay i think the film requires to be in a you know i say it's a horror film we can do it low budget blah, blah, blah. so this guy comes to my place and like i said he was talking about the then the neighboring place when he comes yeah. to my place he talks about do you know why was i talking about the neighboring place because i from there originally and there is when my mother my mom come in the picture and she start talking to her and i you this i give you an example okay it is like You are from that place, Demani. Are uh, you know GSF? You know all children. They are yeah. relatives. And then this guy says, "Are children? He is my relative too." You know, this is how the first scene of the movie is actually yes, the yeah. beginning of the story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then what happens? The conversation with the mom, and we make him stay here. He was the only way he come from Karwar to here. And we tell him, "Why you are you staying in a hotel? You stay here. You are relative. Yeah. You know." and then slowly he tried to bring us in a very big scam he tried to bring us uh, you know he came up with a idea after a month later he will visiting all the time three days he will stay and he will go back and then he bring an idea saying we can i have a ship i want to recruit some people on the ship blah 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 we co- we collected about 15 lakh of rupees in the house a lot of friends came in they they want a job 30000 per person and then Did I realize this something sounding scam? Because I this guy is supposed to do a film for me, and then he's coming with a proposal about shipping industry. Right. And then we didn't return the money back to those people. Otherwise, the house will not survive like this. <laughs> so they were all close friends of us, and and, uh, and that's inspired me to the story. And then I came across to this producer, Manna Mohi, Manpreet Singh from UK. So he was looking for a director from India, and one of the guys from uh, in UK who's working in a hotel in Hilton. Uh, uh, his name uh, is it's very. This guy is from. It's very comfortable, and I just can't tell you the name as I remember. Yeah, <laughs> because no, no, that's <laughs> fine. Yeah. I think I've met. Uh, him. So then he happened to tell him about Milroy. He said, "Like there's a guy named Milroy. Why don't you try?" No. Yeah. they were supposed to come to india anyways to meet some directors in bombay and you know and then they flew back to in goa they had a meeting with me and then i i felt like this guy seems to be i mean i'm asking like myself like why are they coming to me are they really true am i not facing another scam you know <laughs> <laughs> so doubt, yeah. i i normally would greet the people very and i we go on sir we'll just if if anyone come to my place and say i'm shilpa's cousin i would say come sit Bring this, bring that, you know. No, I'm not going to ask children. Children, is he a cousin? No, we trust, right? So easily. So I, I, th- I thought like I'll just take a break now. I said like let me just wait and think. So I did not treat them well. I slowly realized these were the real people after three days and met them back. And I said like, I'm so sorry about not treating you so well. I said no, it's okay. Uh, we didn't, we didn't notice that. He said okay. So I said then I told him the story. I said see, here it is. few weeks ago a few months ago or something i came across to an artist and blah 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 and he said like wow that could be a film 
<laughs> this guy said, why don't you write that story? And we will fund that film, you know? I said, oh, really? really? And they would want me to direct the film. So I said, okay, I will need time. I will take some time. Because I had a friend in the police personnel. And I spent a lot of time on the police station, sitting with them, watching them. How it was not, not, that was not permitted because uh, although the senior officials were very close to me, so they said, we can do that, sit with them, could study how the actual internal police thing actually happens and what we actually perceive. We think, I mean, I'm, I'm not criticizing, but that's a fact. You know, no one yeah. actually very serious about what they are, what's happening. When I personally went with my case that I was conned, the police himself told me, see, if I register this case, you yourself will be in a jail. I said, why? Because you gave a coin artist to stay in your house. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and I had to back off from the case, you know. So, you see, uh, yeah. because, you know, that's so stupid, you know. And that's why it never came on the newspaper, never never even gone further because, you know, then I, what I could do is make a film and make people know this can happen, you know. <laughs> No, it's it's very much, and it's very much as you said as well. Uh, for us in Goans, uh, when we meet someone, we are like, you know, very very close. We say, hey, you You know, you start yeah. connecting. It's a very common thing with us everywhere. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Amazing. And I was, I was, yeah. you know, whether you're in UK or wherever it is, in wherever US, it is, wherever it is. This is Goa, you know. This is Goa exactly. thing, you know. And if you ask someone if, if he says you are from from Kunkoli and you'll say like Kunkoli as if you know the entire Kunkoli. <laughs> but okay. you just want to know. It's just a curiosity, you want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's, that's, that's the nice one. I was watching it and then I suddenly see you with the mic as a reporter as well in the movie. <laughs> that was nice <laughs> to me. Oh, I can tell you something about that. Yeah. It was not supposed to be a thing. It was not supposed to be a thing. What happened? There was a girl who was supposed to play that reporter. And uh, I was telling her how to do the shot. And uh, she was not ready. She, was, she couldn't do it in one take. Then my DOP said, like, Milroy, why don't you act out and show it to her? And he kept it on rolling. <laughs> act out and show it to her. This is how you do. And it was a good take. He felt like, Milroy, I think you should do with this take, you know. He told me in front of that girl, you know, he said, we don't need to take the shot with this girl. You're so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's like so big beard and you know, not properly trained and not good style I wouldn't appear on camera like that <laughs> no, I, at, at the moment I was just uh, figure, trying to figure out when you came with the mic okay so I thought you were trying to give a message then I said oh he's a, he's a reporter there <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's yeah. very natural there are there are some guys who, who who have to go. Maverick has got to go to work. They're just saying, "Good to see you." There you go. Lovely message for you. Nice one. So I mean, you, you, for guys who have not watched this movie, you can watch it on Amazon Prime uh, Video. Um, it's available out there. Is there any other platform, uh, Milroy? You can see that. You can watch the movie. Uh, right now, just Amazon Prime. Expected to be on Movie uh, okay. also. And uh, I don't know the other Netflix is just in process, but I don't know how soon they're going to bring it there. Sure, but sure. Amazon Prime for now, for longer. You know, but is that Amazon Prime only for UK and US? Uh, the one, the right one now, that is, think, you know, is, is UK. I yeah. Think. Okay. Amazon Prime UK, okay. US, Germany, and Austria. India is not yet. The five movie okay. is coming in future. But okay. And yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. How. Get back to India soon, you know. Nice one. I also so for know that, yeah, Joe, go ahead. I also know that you've been to US for the launch of this. This was launched in uh, your movie was launched in uh, US, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, it was premiered in uh, Los Angeles. Okay. And uh, it was also part of the contest for Oscar. So oh, we yes. were qualified in Oscar uh, in uh, 2018 for the first Oscar that happened in 20. 2019, basically. And so I was in the US, in Los Angeles, and uh, we had. Uh, that's another big through of my film career network, where I got introduced to a lot of Hollywood uh, community, and I was even we were even hosted over a dinner at one of the Hollywood uh, directors. You know, they invited us for dinner. Uh, his name is Ravi. He's a, he's a Indian-born but American, and there's a lot of 
Hollywood films. Uh, so that's how. Uh, also, there's a Hollywood actress, uh, Kathleen, Kathleen Michelle. She was also part of the film, partly there. Uh, if you see, there is a scene in the between the credits. If you miss the credits, you watch it. There's a scene between the credits, and there's a song also written between the credits. So when the director, scriptwriter, these things come, after that is a scene that was shot in Los Angeles. And then there is a song, you know, so we put it that way because uh, we wanted to keep the song. In the song, we actually explained the ending, you know. So, yeah, uh, I had this, uh, so we, we had a meeting with the, uh, you know, Jason Statham, Statham the, the, the yes. very famous. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. yeah. So, one of the girls, uh, 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 Miss Widowick, uh, she acted a lot of films with him and so her mom came up to over uh, drinks few beers with us you know in la uh, and it was nice we had a pretty good uh, neighborhood and uh, you know people you know, i felt like i was in goa you know because the los angeles people are so down to earth californian people actually just like how we are and i was so nice that was I missed the place, you know. Could go walk on the street and could ask anyone anything. It was nice. Pretty oh, nice. Good. can imagine. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so nice. Uh, the film took me to places basically, you know. <laughs> this was in 2018, right? Did you say it's in 2018? 18, yeah. In the one by 2018. It was yeah. released and Oscars happened in 2019. And we were in the uh, we didn't got it uh, nominated, but we were in the ballot. Yeah. We made it to the ballot. Yeah. Oh. So that's that's an achievement straight away. There. I mean, that you is, must you must be feeling like top of the moon when when you, when you got when you heard the news. I was really happy, uh, although that was nothing. As in, uh, that was not the end for me because I wanted to hold the Oscar in my hands, you know, which I believe I will do this someday. You know, which I, which I believe maybe the next film will take me there, you know. So the then I can say I'm on top of the world, you know. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Lovely. So if you guys have not seen this, everybody who's watching this, this show right now and joining us, uh, if you have not seen uh, the movie and you know what we are talking about or don't know what we are talking about, I'm going to play the trailer for you, Milroy. Uh, let's play oh, the trailer yeah. uh, so that people get uh, a teaser out of this, of what we are talking. Yes, please go ahead, Shilton. Let's uh, play the trailer. SMS lottery scam, work from home scam, email lottery scam, natural life scam. Zor zor hazarani cases asam chagade. Every time someone or the other receives an SMS saying, you know, they won a lottery of five crores, ten crores. CBI ने हमको बताया कि एक पंजाबी बिलियनर है मॉरिशस से ऑपरेट करता है तुम्हारे कैसे भी उसके लिंक्स हैं सर मुझे इसके बारे में मालूम है सर आर यू मिस्टर डिसोजर्स नीस डिड ही टेल यू समथिंग so you are from Kunkalim, is it? Oh, actually, no. I'm from France. It doesn't look like. Oh, he's from Margao. This doesn't come under my jurisdiction. You coming with one, Mr. Disuza? There are thousands of Mr. Disuzas rotting in this file, your madam. Yes, cyber crimes, yet, online, it could be a lot Goa already has lost 30 crores in the scam. Even more, we don't know. Jab tak ye case court mein chalega. You know how court works. By the time you will be half time. अपने आदमी गोवा में भेजो और उस ऑफिसर का तुम पता लगाओ
what gets you to grow? Any special person? Welcome Indian Saja Sapno ki hai ye duniya Khushiyon se bari hai Ab to ye daasita मुझे एक केस खत्म करना है सर आई एम गोइंग टू पंजाब सर अनऑफिशियली सर मिस्टर डिसूजा कुछ ऐसा नाम लिया था आई जस्ट कॉन अनम्यूट आई हैव आई हैव टू अनम्यू टू डू दिस बिकॉज़ अदरवाइज यू गेट एन एको आउट ऑफ इट Yeah, lovely nice one and uh, i had no clue that that girl was the one you know till she disappeared from the hospital when her is like <laughs> it's fun don't believe it's fun. when i was writing this sorry you won't believe when i was writing this story i i actually had her on my mind because i know joan i worked a uh, few music videos with her and i knew that she would be the better person to portray this but then we had an audition and she came up for the audition and uh, it really worked <laughs> nice so um, and uh, by the way this is uh, if if i am not wrong this is razak khan's last movie right milroy yeah yeah it is it is that was... yeah 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 that was really sad okay it is yeah. indeed nice one and so shot in uh, it yeah. was shot in three different places isn't it uh, in uk in goa and punjab i was shot in the uk uh the songs were shot in the uk ending then places were like goa and punjab and then uh, los angeles you know los angeles yeah nice. so it's like we work with different uh, actors from the region you know is because i wanted some of kind of international yeah yeah <laughs> thank you for you nice, nice i mean personally um, i mean roy i mean we we uh, we what we do is we then come up to a section where we just have a quick chat to know more about it something which we want to know from our side as well so do you have a favorite movie all time favorite movie which you can keep watching every time oh well uh, like i can tell you um, uh, there's nothing sort of all time there is one which i really enjoy watching uh, tell you it's it's it's, it's uh, uh 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 i think oh, what's this guy name uh, who was in the la la land ah uh, oh gosling uh, ryan gosling ryan gosling yeah. ryan gosling one film which uh, i have really enjoyed watching i can kind of watch quite often it's okay. called uh, the crazy stupid love if you oh. ever watch yeah. yeah i think i did <laughs> Is I I like that movie. I mean, I'm not in the. I mean, I wouldn't make a film like that because that my not mind of genre. But I enjoyed his acting in that movie. I enjoyed the roles played by Ryan Gosling and uh, the other guy, uh, Emma Emma Stone. I think she's. I think yeah, she's Emma Stone like and Steve Carell. So this were the guys who really kept me thrilled. I can watch it again and again. It's like. It's really good movie. <laughs> do, and and do you do you like enjoying to watch a movie by yourself? I mean, there, there's a reason to ask this as well. The reason behind that is maybe it's more about a research purpose, purpose, and you don't want any disturbance, and you want to focus. Or do you want? Do you like more of enjoying a movie with friends and family, like I watching enjoy, a movie? I don't enjoy a company over a movie. I will never do that. Okay. If I want no. to watch a movie, it will be just me. Okay. Uh, because. Uh, I watch movie to learn also you know so then yeah, watching course. with a friend a company it, you tend to get diverted you know paying exactly. attention yeah, yeah. 
So if if I go for a movie, it will be with my brother. But then we don't talk to each other. You okay. know, because then we separately, you know, sit at. Yeah. Uh, we will talk only after the movie ends. But we will never. I enjoy watching with him because he never interrupt me, or he will never like me to be interrupted. So that's it's good. Other than like, that, I will. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. At home, I watch on my TV there. Yeah. Netflix. I watch alone because everyone have, in the house have a TV on their own. So my brother has his own TV, my sister has his own TV. So I like they they watch what they want to watch. So it's here also I live in my own privacy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like it's, you're watching a movie and someone says hello. It's like someone tries to talk to you and you say, oh, "No, just stop. I'm working right now." <laughs> <laughs> They already know that. <laughs> no, I mean, only you can do that. I mean, we can't do that. I can't do that while watching a movie. I'm not working when I'm watching, but you can say that literally, and people won't disturb you as well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, there is, I mean, as you as you know, me right. The name of the show itself it says "Go on Tunes with a Tipple." Uh, so i work in the liquor industry and my connection to kunkulim is that i keep visiting every time i'm down in goa i have to because okay. the company i work with is based in kunkulim i work for a whiskey okay. company based in kunkulim uh, i will look after the european markets uh, work for paul john so nice. that's my connection to kunkulim and then there is one thing uh, there's a small section which i always say they always keep asking our guest do you do you like a drink like a beer or or a wine or a whiskey anything I I enjoy drinking. I mean, uh, I have a friend uh, actually. He comes down to India once a while, so yeah. that is the time we hang out for a drink. It's a very decent private party we will have, or the kabir for a beer. Yeah. Otherwise, nice. I would prefer having it alone at home or with my brothers. And these are two people. There are two people who I enjoy drinking with. I am very selective when it comes to drinking with the company. So that's I believe in sitting with the positive people. So when you drink, you need to talk positive rather than hear something negative. I don't enjoy that. You know? So no, yeah, no. I enjoy. Um, uh, I mean, Jack Daniels is one of the things I really enjoy. I, I like to what I do really with the whiskey, not just with Jack Daniels. I would even try with uh, Paul John if I have opportunity. But what I, what I do with the uh, whiskey is I normally take a whiskey. Uh, this much i don't know what is the shot this much uh, i guess this much yeah uh, i don't know it is 630 m or whatever 30 or 60 yeah. yeah i like to make a coffee with the milk and put the whiskey in it i enjoy that it is a very good flavor oh you if you if you, if you literally like a coffee and, and a whiskey i will i will uh, share with you a recipe which you can do at home you can you will love it yeah okay Coffee, Enjoy whiskey, that. exactly the same thing what you mentioned. You will love it. I'll, I'll share that with you. <laughs> Please do that. Definitely. Like my drinks, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, I mean, as just as you said. I mean, uh, the the best way to enjoy a drink, it can be any drink, is with the right company. You need the right people next to you. You know, you need to have a good company, and that's the best way of having it. So yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much. It. And you you already said how you enjoy it more or with with whom and as. Uh, With friends or without friends and stuff like that. Nice one. Um, we 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 got uh, you connecting and you're talking about Kabir uh, and your connection in the music videos. Um, what to you, as a, if I had to say, if we had to pick one, do you like working more or is it? What's the difference in it? To be honest with you, that's the right way of putting it. Music videos or movies? The challenges that you will face. See, uh, movies have a lot of things to work with. From planning, say it's just not the going on the set and saying action. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we work with the script. Normally, I write the script. I prefer writing my script. But even if I get a script, it is again rewriting the script. And then understanding the actions, what what are they? Dividing the scenes, shots by the locations, list the locations beforehand. Do the cast scouting. Do the recce. Find the location. What I can imagine of. If I can imagine a location like your background of what I see the staircase, I have to look that particular one, you know. So it's like that. A lot of research goes in it. A lot of people we need to count with, and then we have to see the visibility with the weather, and then uh, you know how we can have a food arrangement in that area, and everything toiletry or ambulance and everything prehand before we even plan. True. Then executing that part in real real days, 
giving a schedule to all the actors weekly or daily schedules tomorrow we are filming or three day after tomorrow we're filming here these are the itinerary you know yeah. so i have to prepare that because i know that that is the work of the director to give the itinerary to the actors basically i will give that to the assistant director assistant director will pass on to the whole staff you know yeah. who's going to be there coordinate with them if they need a vehicle to be picked up arrange that and also it's, it's a huge thing for a film when it comes to film and then making sure all are on set present three hours before or four hours before filming so if you're filming at 5 a.m uh, we are on the set by 3 30 a.m or you know like that so yeah. so that we don't miss out anything you know and then uh, so yeah it's, it's pretty i mean i enjoy that it's, i'm not complaining it's something nice to do no it's, it's it's never i mean what you in what you whatever you enjoy in doing uh, becomes your passion right otherwise it becomes uh, a pressure so yeah. i believe in passion not a pressure so Absolutely. that's why we are paid so much <laughs> because we follow the passion so <laughs> and then yes uh when it comes to music videos it's a uh, whole thing compressed into very limited sources you know like i work with sarigama uh for a film i did with uh, amanda moy films we had a big queue, crew of 20 30 sometime even more when i worked with sarigama uh did a music videos for bollywood uh, singer shasha tripathi a couple of cover songs and yeah. some originals also uh there was different all together we have either one or two or three on set you know and then scheduling was totally different based on the time and you know it all depends i think i feel this music video work is more lighter and uh, I, i would enjoy it because what happens is they don't want to put more money to make the things for how i want to do yeah if i want to do the way i want to do i will need time in preparing and planning and executing but most of the time when i do a music video with uh gona artist if people i'm not complaining sorry I'm not complaining but you know this is sharing my idea okay and i don't yeah. want any artist to take it you know uh, a lot of people who work with me should not feel bad but the thing is when you plan the script yeah when you work on the script for the music video and then execute it based on the lucky we do for location and then film it and then take the dop or other crew on the location before filming to understand the sunlight which sun which side is coming do we need extra lighting normally right. it's not possible for music videos we prefer going with the natural lights to save cost the budget then we need to understand what are reflectors required before then we know which day we're shooting how's the weather of course goa is a good weather never doubt it yeah and we have some of us hold the sunlight and even in the rainy season we have sometimes a good summer feeling you know so it's a good good place to be uh there's a lot of film makers come to go out to do the films sure, yeah. so yeah if that is done then we can shoot the whole song in two days or one day in so proper planning without any errors or without any having trouble finding the location so mostly that is what we miss in goa most of them a very few music videos that i worked on uh for example i did a french music video we worked previously on the storyline how are we going to do the cuts how are we going to do the this then executed yeah. there was uh, even the sasha tripathi's music videos are already planned before to which uh, ship we wanted a boat so we where we going to hire the boat before she could land to goa she yeah. lives in uh, bombay so you know now, uh, so that she arrived and we started filming so like planning i believe uh, whether it is music video or ad film or a feature film it's all about planning and executing so i enjoy doing all this you know but i enjoy more in 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 something that i get hardcore planning work putting in place and then execute less fun that's like you already dreamed of something yeah and you're putting manifesting your dreams into reality and then you have a clear vision what to do you know okay. it's 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 it it better you know it works better for everyone even for cinematographer actors everyone feel comfortable in in that idea they already know that is a look it's already been there before felt it so it's not new to them you know yeah. so that's that's where i've been doing you know difference in it and of course right. that takes a bit of 
there there are a few of yours. There are a few. I mean, I've seen a few of yours. The the French song as well. Well, I don't understand French, but it's a lovely video, uh, nicely shot as well. Uh, one of the ones which I also liked was Love Love, which I okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, that's a that's a nice song. I'm gonna pull it up if we can. If your guys are okay with it, and if we can, let's do it. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a. a, bit of a you girl I fell in love with you I need you besides me with everything I do I wish I can open my heart I wish that I could show you every heart beats only for you love, 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 love. Your love is so sweet. Love, 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 love. When our two hearts meet, every time I open my eyes, I see you all around. My heart skips a beat when my ears hear your sound. You mesmerize me every time you pass me by. I can't describe you, girl, my feeling here tonight. Love, 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 love. Your love is so sweet. Yeah. Me. Since you came into my life, my everything has changed. Girl, you make me smile, you make my heart alive. Since you came into my life, my everything has changed. You make me feel so sweet, you make my life complete. That that was amazing. I hope I have unmuted everyone. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That was lovely. Nice one. 
So I've, got, I, I've heard a few other songs as well of yours, but there's uh, we, we won't get much time to play. Otherwise, I can just go on with the music. <laughs> yeah, I've been following actually Milroy for quite a long time since I think I've watched your first uh, short films in the early days, and since okay. then, you know, I've been keeping an eye on what's what was new. And <laughs> I know you have a YouTube channel as well, isn't it, where you're trying to um, give some tips and you know. Um, yeah, yeah tips and tricks and what is essential you know to be uh, in the film industry or about camera and stuff like that uh we'll we'll link that channel uh we'll, we'll link that Those channel are also there on, on instagram also played oh, on right. the same thing yeah brilliant so nice. i i think um i just taken a break from this and uh, uh i would like to wish one of our viewers his uh celebrating his birthday Moshley Fernandez and he's been right. you know a supporter and uh, he's been watching all of our episodes and uh, Moshley uh, if you're watching this I wish you happy birthday uh, have a great day god bless you and I hope you know you you uh, achieve your dreams and he's a very passionate musician and I've seen a couple of songs he does and, yeah wish happy you all birthday. the best Moshley. happy birthday happy birthday in fact, that birthday reminds me today, my friend's birthday as well. <laughs> you know? Oh, nice. It looks you like can, a really can, good day. Uh, yeah, you, can, you can tell me your yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's watching. I'm sure maybe he was watching. But uh, here's wishing you, Sandipa. Wish you happy birthday and keep going as a strong businesswoman. She's very good in her oh, nice. business ideas, you know. Yeah. I wish you to you right. as well. Have a good nice. day. Happy birthday. Uh, also, I think uh, we've got uh, Mr. Manna, uh, and uh, hi, Mr. Manna, if you're watching us. Uh, <laughs> it would be nice if he's watching, you know. Yeah. But I don't care uh, if he's watching. to meet Mr. Manna a while ago. He was here, a very nice person, down to earth. We he had, is. you know, a couple of, I think we met like two, three times, and he's, he's a, a gentleman. He's he's really a wonderful person. Really pleased to meet him, and uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, really nice. Yeah. Coming to that point of my yeah, like I said, um, you know, a film, a film to be very successful, you need to have a producer who gives you all the freedom. Because my last two films, I'm not saying, uh, I was constrained with the script, and they never let me do beyond. You know, a filmmaker should have a freedom over the script, over, over everything. From the studio itself, so Manna is the one guy who never restricted me with the ideas. It was like, this is the idea, go for it. You think it's good, go for it, no? Because you need that. Otherwise, you know, you are restricting things, and then you are suppressing the ideas, and then you end up changing the scene or the script based on uh, not about the budget, but based on anything, you know. So, a freedom Absolutely. should be there, and that's why this film was successful. Uh, because there was a lot of freedom, you know. That's the okay. thing. You know, I am no doubt how gentleman he is. Yeah. Oh, that's Sandy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's always you need the you need the right team to work with, and and especially if you have a producer like that, that that makes life a lot easier for for guys like you working on the on the sets. Of course, yeah, see, as a director, a film isn't it? So it's very important. Yeah. Uh, can I add something to that? Yeah, sure, sure. You know, when it comes to the film, uh, I'm I'm at a lot of filmmakers uh, from Goa. They always talk about the budget. They say, "What budget?" I, I tell them, "See, you are a director. Your idea should be to con to make the film as low budget as possible." And you know, suppose a producer throws at me like, "Okay, you have five crores budget at hand." It doesn't mean I make a film of five films. I will do, do. I'll think about it like, okay, let's make five films, or maybe I will say this idea does not require five films, but we can use it such a way that uh, we hire the local talent instead of getting from Bombay, like Hollywood or whatever that is. I prefer that you know, getting giving business to locals, and then you have uh, instead of uh, you know going to expensive places, look for a private places, a private house. And yeah. offer them a better deal because there are places where you are, like for example, you're filming in Panjim, you're charged one lakh per day. And how can a grown filmmaker afford that? Yeah. I, I can yeah. afford that because my producer can, but doesn't mean I use exploit my producer. 
So what I did when I was filming in Panjim for this film, I had a meeting with uh, CCP Mayor, and thanks to my actor Sohan Worker, he was well connected with him. He introduced me to this guy, and and then uh, we pitched an idea like, see, it's a going film, uh, charging one lakh for one day. Then they came up with a low price to twenty five thousand, you know, wow. or some fifteen thousand, I think. I don't know something like that, which is good. I mean. I could pay that one less, but then I'm exploiting my producer when I'm from Goa. When I can even choose another similar location, but though I wanted badly Panjim, I said I will stick to it. I will fight for it. I'll make them understand. See, this one leg like, may be we. Sometimes there are some films. This one leg like, is enough for them for entire film. You know, you cannot uh, restrict that because. You want to charge extra and don't want them to film it. It's bad. Why you want to promote the tourism when you cannot afford it for better price for Goa? Yeah, you know, the Goans are the ones who actually promote it better than maybe Bollywood because we are the people who connect with our people and our people are everywhere in UK, US. You know, they're yeah. everywhere in the world and they can promote yeah. this tourism in better way. You know, and we have many things, not just movies, music. You know, so this was the thing. Like as a director, it is always important for I'm telling this to future directors or who are watching, who think, or who are directors or who think they want to make a film. Don't focus on the budget. You may be having five legs or ten legs or one crore or two crores, three crores, millions. But if your film, you know your film, you know your locations, you know your actors. Try to work out, make a budget, not because you have a lot of money in hand, but because you can save that lot of money. And think about future, about making more films with that. You know, yeah. if the producer is happy with you, he will stick to you. Why would he go to someone else when you when you can when you can make a better deal? And that's a business. That's a film business. You know, most of people forget this is a film business. It's not just making a film and earning a name. We are not in in a line of uh, competition. I'm not competing with this guy, that guy. I'm competing with myself all the time. I'm doing the film what I did. Uh, what I'm saying, I'm doing better films than what I did yesterday. You know? Yeah. So if I go to compete with other other guys, then I'm ending spending my time and someone else's money, and you know, ruining the whole so thing with because I want to be better than that. It never happens because that person who you're trying to compete with will is always ten step ahead of you. That's why you're competing with them, right? Yeah. So exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. You will go ten step ahead again. Then you're coming to that ten step forward, but that like that race is never ending. So when you compete with yourself, you are doing ten times better than what you did yesterday. Then you never knew you might end up doing better than people should recognize your talent. That's when you're saying I'm better than this, you know. So I always tell this to youngsters. They are always in the line of competition, and they think you have to do this. You have to no. I don't want anyone to compete with me either because I'm not saying I'm the best. I believe in the best. It is you. You're saying I'm the best. I never say I'm the best. You know that is how it should work, right? Unless yeah, someone true, tells absolutely. you the best, it means you achieve something. Yeah. I mean, and everyone, so, everyone has that uniqueness in them. You know, whatever yeah. output you give, you have your unique identity and your unique exactly. style. And exactly. there's no reason that we should comp compete with. Uh, I mean, in in short, in, in short, I will say be be. I mean, for me, I will say be a Shilton. Don't don't try to be a Milroy. Milroy is Milroy. That's a different st different story. How Shilton can get better? That's the story. I mean, what that's can I do to change or improve improve from the last one? That's what I should be focused on rather than just trying to be Milroy or trying to be JSF. You know, that's not happening. <laughs> that's right. Also, while we are on the same topic, I like the fact what you just mentioned, Milroy. About uh, giving a chance to our uh, own local guys and to our Goan talents, you know that's the whole point of us, where we can uh, showcase them and you know support them uh, with their interest, where we can do it with a film or you know with the music. As uh, I have a little bit of knowledge in music, and uh, I want to help whoever, and I want to learn and help at the same time. I want to grow because you know a newcomer or, or a new learner can teach me various things. It's all about constantly learning and you know evolving and getting better at what you want to be. That's, That's a beautiful good. message, Milroy. Thank you so much for, and, I, and so I'm sure a lot of guys will take that on board. 
and uh, and actually go with it. And we have a section that, that was the last, the next thing what we were going to say. You, you, do you have a message for the youngsters? And you actually said, <laughs> said, said, you actually said it but, as well. So. Yeah, but on, on the same thing, I would like to ask Milra, what if someone is really interested to become a film director or, you know, to get into film industry, what is the first or most important thing that they should be doing? Definitely, it's an interest towards movies. And then uh, what in terms of, uh, they go step by step. What 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 would you recommend? Recommend. Oh, well, I, I I think I can tell you about myself. Uh, what I do, maybe that I can tell them. Yeah. Maybe not to follow the same thing. Maybe something they can learn from it. Uh, firstly, uh, I look at the story that comes on my mind. That should really connect with me. Uh, the story that I will work on, maybe the song, whatever. Whenever it's a music video, anyone tells me I want you to direct a music video, I tell them, send me the song. I want to listen to it. I want to feel the song. The song should inspire me to do it. I will not do it for the money because um, I may end up spoiling the whole mood of the song. Because if it does not connect me, then I can't convey it. You know what you know what I meant to say? So there are some songs I never did. I, tell, I told them like this genre don't fit me because uh, name is very important. If you have a good name in the market, money flows multiply. You know, money never go end. But just want to pounce on whatever thing is. Uh, think about it. Think that is your baby. You want to raise it. You know, raise it to be something known to the world. So take the script, go to it, try to feel it should be your genre that you really connect should be something in it that should really connect it should be the music you really connect and then go further okay this is about those people who are already in the line of filmmaking but then those who want to get in the filmmaking um now there is a lot of ways to learn there is a masterclass.com which i always i'm watching this uh subscribe to masterclass.com which they have better uh, courses on filmmaking. I, I, I'm actually still learning that, guys. I have uh, watching a lot of uh, filmmaking courses online uh, because this is the time I can learn so many things that I couldn't do it. You know, yeah. and many times I see the same thing they are talking about, which I already know. But it's always good to remind yourself, right? Because I may know the things, but I may forget. But when you watch someone else's interview or other directors uh, work, you tend to relate and say, wow, that is what I used to do. And that is everything accepted. You know, you get to know the world of film industry. The same for the musician when you watch uh, different genres of music or listen to it. You know, it, it is the same thing, basically, to collectively gather information. Knowledge is power. You have the knowledge around you on the internet, use it. Yeah. Source of the knowledge is true now, even for free. To YouTube, make best of it, you know. So learning is should be the key if you want to be successful in this line of work. You cannot come in on the field and say I know everything, and then you know, that's the joke. You have that's to come on the field and say, okay, I'm ready to learn. And then, because see, whenever we are on the set, we are meeting the new people. Of course, the actors we already met, but there are some crew who join in for that day for that new. They may have better ideas about setting the light. I always leave up to them. I say, fine, go ahead, show me the idea. If I like it, I take it. If I don't like it, I tell them, see, I want to show the lighting should be, you know, coming from outside. It's a sunlight reflecting in the room. I don't want to show the room lit. If you see my film, you all notice the film is shown as though it is lit with a natural light because we try to show it that way. I believe in lighting, very important for me. So, I can say if I either learn or I either tell them or the tape going, you know? so it, it's always that way. When you're accepting uh, to learn, you always find people who are accepting to learn either. So there is never a conflict. So when I tell someone I want to they never conflict with me because they already know I'm also the one who's learning from them. You know, so that's very important to have a teamwork. If you have a team, that's called teamwork, right? So you cannot be a boss. You have to be a leader. And the leader is always leading. By the examples and also learning from the members so that's how it collectively works so so that if you have that kind of uh, leadership get in the filmmaking because you don't want to go on the set and fight with actors or no. the other group then you're not in a leadership team you're in a politics you're in a 
uh, you shouldn't be in a film industry. You know, that's like, uh, you know, you're not running a business. You're running a loss. You know, you're wasting the day. You know, no one would like to work with you if you have that. <laughs> so exactly. Okay. Something I would like to add on to that as well, Milroy. I mean, I, I working in the whiskey industry, I go and do master classes and tasting sessions. I host the tastings, oh, especially when you go to Scotland and you find many people. I, I, the first thing I say, okay, so is there in this room anybody who thinks they know about whiskey? Ten out of ten. There is, you know, not many people. When I say nine out of ten, and say, like, okay, I know nine out of ten, and I say, you know what? You host a tasting. I'll go and sit back because you, I think you know more than me. But oh, then I say. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Because it's a learning process. You learn every day. You come across people. You learn from different people. And that's exactly. what we should be. I think that's the right attitude, what we should have in our daily life. Just keep learning. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's how you connect that's with new people. Otherwise, yeah. no one wants to associate with you if you try to show you are the boss. Yeah. You know? That's, that's how it is. And I tell you, this kind of uh, attitude will connect you with new people. Like I say, when I approach to MLTR, do you know that the song in the movie plays throughout the movie called Some Days Gonna Make Sense? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. done by Michael Lanceroff, MLTR. Yeah. yeah. And I, I they did the, the first voice. part. Yeah. They did the first part of the movie scoring. All the music is there in the movie. The first part is by them. They watched the movie and then they scored. Actually, the film, we had a deal with it to do the song. But then somehow they connected with me more than the business. They got on me over the text messages or the phone calls. They said, like, don't go through our agent. We would like to connect you directly. Wow. You know, yeah. agent. So, because, you know, they had no problem with connecting to you directly. And then then they said, like, okay, I want to watch the film. They watched the film. Then they said, you, would you, you know, won't believe the way they approached for that part. Or I'm going to tell you now. They said, Milroy, this is what Mikhail says, the guitarist, okay? He messaged me one day and said, Milroy, would you mind? If I do a score for the movie, I mean, can you expect <laughs> yeah. that question? And would say no, no to that? I like, uh, of course, you go ahead. But, but then, then I say like, but that's not in a deal as in in a contract. He said, no problem. We don't want you to pay extra. We'll do it for you. You know. So that was an off contract. You know, did the score. He sent me uh, ample of music mm -hmm. of score to choose from and test with the scenes which goes well and it's it's just how it is you know so you keep your mind positive you are attracting the people who are positive you know nice. and that's something a law of attraction i tell you we have gone through the universal studio maybe we would have paid in crores for a song or maybe a revenue or the rights throughout a lifetime but that never happened because when we went approach to your studio they connect with the MLTR. MLT had said they have connected with many filmmakers who wanted to do music for them and they never said yes to it. And he was like, We don't know why we said yes to you. I like, I know, I don't know why you said yes to me because I said, I'm a first time music uh, filmmaker. You, I asked him the day uh, my film got to Oscar, I messaged him. And then I asked him, like, Why did you say to your guys said yes to the film? What was the intention behind it? Do you all know this would make it to Oscar someday? He said, like, we, approach, we were approached by many filmmakers from Bollywood and all this thing. We never wanted to associate, we want to keep our music very discreet to this audience and, you know, this type of genre. But there was something about you, he said, you know. This is what they said. There was something about you, not a film. There was something about you that we thought we would, con we would connect with you directly. And then, of course, uh, they read about the script before and something a little bit of it. And, um, Actually, it was a horror script I sent them. I was planning to do a horror film and get a song from uh, one from the movie from the album. They had a blue night, you know. Right. So that is why I connected to them. But when I did this film, Welcome Millions, I told the producer I know Michael Lansrock, and somehow I can ask them again if they want to do a film for this film. Uh, you know, it's the same music or maybe different song. And they were already connected. They were like, Milroy, if you are doing another film, I, I, we want you to go through our new album or the new songs or the other songs which are released and tell me which you which you like on that. And he told me not to go to those albums which are with the Universal Studios because those rights are not with them. And then again, they don't want me to pay heavy fine for that, you know. And so it, it see, like I'm saying, when you keep yourself clean and uh, not in terms of 
whatever it is, uh, to our mind, you know. We have More open, yeah, yeah. And, and open to ideas and learning. Yeah. Yeah. It works. Uh, you, are, you are a trainer, Sheldon. You know it very well. Yeah. JSF, you are a musician. You are meeting a lot of people. And you connect with me. You know it very well. And this is the reason I could connect with those type of people. Otherwise, it never happens with me. I cannot connect with the people who are so negative. I would not sit here live with this two gentlemen if I was not able to connect with them. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm really grateful uh, to you, yeah, Milroy, for being here with us. It's it's yeah. a connection, you know, and that's uh, I mean, the more you keep yourself open to ideas and keep learning, and that's how you connect more. That's what I feel personally. That's my point of view. I think that's the best way of of connecting with people. So yeah, that works well. Nice uh, one. I hope Michael is watching. This is on my Facebook profile as well. If he's watching this, I think you should share with just uh, and others, other band members too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he will watch that. <laughs> There is, I mean, um, the, the whole stream is there live uh, right now, but you can always watch it. Uh, those people who, are, who have missed it can come, can watch the whole episode again as well. So that's how it works with us. Uh, okay. we have, in case they have missed. We, we are, we we are kind of, yeah, go ahead, Joe. The archives. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's an archives. Okay. Yeah. So we're we going towards the end, uh, Milroy, and uh, the last few things, um, the, the one thing which I would like to know, is there a dream project you would like to work with somebody in the industry, in your industry? Yeah, yeah, I I, I have a dream project. In fact, um, working on uh, an idea for my next film, which I want to do it with Amazon Prime again. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll, uh, you know, so, and of course, uh, I don't want to talk about what subject, but yeah, there is a dream project. And I think this lockdown is bringing me close to my laptop or my book and paper pen, you know, which I can just jot down the points. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Whenever, whenever you come out with that, and when, whenever you're ready for it, just let us know as well, so we can talk about it on our platform and let people know more about your next projects coming out, more interesting stuff that you're coming out with. Um, I've got just one thing. I don't know about Joe, but I've got just like one last thing. When you are free, when Milroy is free, where can you be found? Well, I prefer going, uh, I prefer enjoying beach side. So, the yeah. Kavilosim Beach is the one where I personally find myself, you know, at ease. So, I don't I enjoy company on the beach when I'm there. Over there, that's my private place. Like, you know, I go there, uh, I will enjoy the shore the waves or we go in the water I, I like to be alone when that moment but yeah if I'm with the company of course if they are like me who would enjoy that kind of uh, you know yeah. uh, in the sand or slipping over or laying in the sand and you know I would mind I wouldn't mind joining that company but that's something I will look forward to you know <laughs> nice one you got you got Ravi waiting for your next project. We are all waiting, Ravi. We are all waiting. <laughs> yes, uh, we are very much curious to know what's coming up. Uh, there is something we he doesn't want to share right now, so we'll keep it that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm um, done. Joe. I will let you, Joe. Yeah, for me, I think just uh, one question I would like to ask. Since you have been working with uh, several videos, music videos, and uh, You've worked with so many artists like uh, uh, Johnny, and I like that song very much too. Moje, Tuns Moje Suk Sopon, something like that. Yeah, Tuns Moje Jyoti. Yeah, it's it's very nice, beautifully done. I I just love the video, the quality of it, and the music is excellent. So from from the starting point, like when you started doing uh, music videos, and uh, as of date, what do you think of uh, Konkani music from then and the here now? What do you think the future is uh, again uh, for Konkani music in your point of view? If you can let us know about that. Of course, of course. Thank you for asking that question. GSF, you are from the industry. <laughs> but asking if there was something really important. I really appreciate that. Uh, of course, uh, Konkani music have been uh, there since the Portuguese era. It was there rocking that's why gold musician could use the music for bollywood back in those times when goa was yes. a portuguese goa we should be blessed because somehow we have the portuguese connection and the music came from there you know 
and we could evolve in jazz. So we had uh, uh, years of great musicians like Chris Perry or Lorna came in, and many other musicians who are old songs are still time timeless. Now they are, they are you can't date them anymore. You can listen to it today, 2020, or maybe in next Absolutely. 100 years too. You know, it's, it's, it's undated. So music evolved in Goa because Goans have that ear for the music or the dancing shoes they always wear, you know. They go and enjoy dancing, you know. No matter what shoes, they always dancing shoes, you know. <laughs> I love that. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that. I'll write it down. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, looking in those two contexts, you know, dancing shoes and the ear for the music, that is what we see good music coming from Goa. Yeah. Because you give them a music to go and play them, they will love it, they will blast it, they will keep it playing throughout. And able to hear, they will repeatedly go ahead. You will have this subscription going on forever, you know. Because that I think go have come up with uh, a special genre of music as go music, you know. I wouldn't say it's it's, it's a particular category called go music, a concrete music where. You have jazz, you have, uh, you have not rock, or you have hip hop, you have uh, even the rap. Yeah. Making ground is doing so much. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, JSF, you have polished it to, uh, you know, more pop than Freeze Love is doing wonderful with his pop genre. Kabir Morais is getting in rap with the pop. And uh, I would name a few, but there are so many, you know, which. Uh, I'm giving a complete music to a better level, and com the music is so good. Even the music videos are not so good. There are better music videos than what you should see back then. People experimenting on different type of you know, gadgets with complete music, which is technology. so good. Yeah, yeah technology, and uh, you know, you just go on YouTube, you just type complete music, you'll find hundreds. But uh, it's good. It's growing, and I think it should follow because people like you, who are in different part of the world, who are listening to this music, actually giving them boost to make new music. You know, Goa is now is like uh, less. Uh, you know, uh, so many Goans in Goa who also listen to it, but there are Goans who are outside Goa are actually making the music popular. You know, yeah. which is Absolutely. I think I should find those Goans abroad who are there because they are the one who is taking the. I mean. The reason my film is doing well in the UK is because you guys. The reason my film is doing well in the US is because of you guys. Go on, you know. That's how they say it. This is like go on director who will come to tell this to the British people to watch it, you know. Or, or yeah, American people, really. or German, you know. That's how it works, right? And again, that's the connection, Roy. I mean, for us living in this uh, in this place, uh, maybe I'm in some country like Belgium or, you know, with that people over there with a different culture. And my only connect is the Konkani music, a Konkani film, you know, that's my connection. And I, mm -hmm. I just can't wait to come back home and watch it and listen to the music. So that's a, my only connection. I mean, this is coming from a point of view. I'm not an artist like Joe or uh, yourself in the industry, but my con that's our connection where we are just waiting for a chance to connect with people uh, with, with oh. our home, hometown. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's Ravi sharing very similar views as well on, on yeah. this. Yeah, this is pretty much acceptable view, you know. I mean, we all enjoy that, the different genres coming in, in company music. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we value very much and we want to keep the traditional music as well. But again, just yeah. to be in, uh, you know, in line with the international music we are coming up with, making use of technology basically where we can sit at our home and, you know, it's a basically computer-based music, but it just feels like real uh, <laughs> instruments are being used. So, <laughs> and uh, we want to keep our goons entertained and, you know, as you said, being goons all over the world, that is the biggest support and motivation when people watch. You have so many viewers, you have so many followers, and uh, some people just message you and say, okay, we are there, just go ahead. When is your next song releasing? You know, all of these messages, they just give us a boost. And uh, there is no, uh, you know, so much value in those messages that, uh, you know, money can buy or something like that. But sure, sure. that's more precious than anything. It just takes you to another different level. Uh, and that's what uh, keeps uh, me going and, you know, the other artists going, as I know of. Um, 
but yeah and we feel so much uh, you know pride to say it. we have pride and we are proud to say that milroy one of our own um, film director has been to us with this film and the film was launched in uh, la and things like that it's it's really good to know you be uh, you know to be in the friend circle with you be in touch with you and uh, have a chat with you sometimes uh, and yeah really pleased uh, to have met you milroy <laughs> Well, that's um, pretty much. Thank you so much, Milroy, for for you. you know getting your time. Um, I know we 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 tried it yesterday, and I was keeping my fingers crossed. And the first thing, because of the the internet connection, and the first thing which came to my mind was uh, a song by Kabir as well, Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> I hope it works tomorrow. That's what I was saying. I hope it works tomorrow. And yes, we had a session with without, 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 without it. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Actually, yes. yeah, <laughs> it's nice knowing yeah. you. Now we are connected on Facebook. Back, you know, Shelton yeah. and Joseph. It's yeah. thank you for the time and thank you for connecting. It's so nice that we someday would share a beer or a whiskey together. You know, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, now this was the best line of the whole conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, definitely meet up and yeah i would like to say once again thank you milroy thanks for your time and saying yes to me for the first you know in the first i just asked you milroy would you be available and your answer was just yes without any <laughs> questions with the questions yeah. and really really pleased uh, that you came on the show and you know you shared your um, uh, precious uh, key points tips and you know the uh, advice for whoever is into uh, you know interested in getting into film music and overall i think you've given a pretty much uh, positive uh, vibe to this session and uh, i would say you've given them a line of how their attitude should be if you want to progress in whatever you're doing it's it's really a good thing even i've learned a couple of things mil right thank you for that uh wish you all the best uh, with your upcoming projects and uh, definitely we are going to be in touch uh please let us know when you have uh, something coming up so we can post and keep your fans and our fans uh, updated uh, our friends sure. and families as well sure. yeah. thank you so stay much safe, stay, safe, right? and stay safe out there and guys yeah. Thank you for joining in and being a part of this conversation. For the amazing comments that keep keep coming, um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, we we're trying our best to put up this small uh, unity together on this platform, you know, and and getting the talent out. So that was the whole idea of this. So um, please leave your comments for if you want, if, if you, I mean, whatever I'm, you feel. I'm not able to reply all the comments, but surely we'll go through this once again, you know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank <definitely>. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Bye now. Ciao. Bye.